not panties. Today I'm gonna show you how to put together my easel, the one I got for Walmart. So I received the easel in this bag. I took the easel out. But I'm gonna show you how it goes in the bag. It was just like this, huh? This part was in here, like this. And then this part was in here. It just went down in here like this. And then it was closed up. Then it was closed like this. Did I put it in right? Or did it go in the other way? It went in the other way. I think it went in like this. Yeah, it did. Then this part went in. So it will receive to me like this. This is a nice little bag to go outside and paint or to somebody else's house and paint their portrait. Really nice. Or you could go to the fair, the fairgrounds to paint people for money, paint people portraits for money. That would be awesome. Anyway, so I took it out. I received it just like this. And like I said yesterday or in the last video, I did not know what it was until I went to Walmart and saw it, saw it there. But anyway, I came home and I, I put it together. And I'm gonna show you guys how to put it together. So first, you take the thing out the bag, all the parts and stuff. And um, hold on, this thing does not want to come out. You just spread the legs out, just like this. You set it down. Um, at the, on the bottom of these legs, you will see, you see these. Now these, the, the first ones, they go up and they hold the, the canvas tray. Oh yeah, when you get it, when you first get it, it will not be bent like this. This how I, I mean, this is how I received it. So I don't know how it got like that. It's just like that. I don't know how to fix it. I'm not strong enough to fix it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. But anyway, these things, this, like I said, these are the canvas holders. And this is how you move. You just unscrew, like, okay, you unscrew this one. And then you move it up and screw it back. These, this is where you place the canvas. The, the canvas tray, not the canvas, the canvas tray. So you put it, oh, I like to put mine in the first hole right here, just like this, on top of the screw. So, let me get back. So, I'll spread the, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. This is, this middle part right here is the, um, the back of the canvas. Like, you lift this up, why is it all the way up? You lift this part up to hold the back of the canvas, to support the canvas. So you would lift this thing up right here, if you can see, it goes up and down. When it goes up, you can lift this thing up, just like this. Or you can just come up here, lift it as high as the, you want it for the canvas, to support the canvas. So I'm going to just leave it about right here, like right here, this long. You can't see it. Well, let me get back. You still can't see. Well, I'm going to lift it down so you guys can see. And like I said, it can hold up. It can hold up to 33 inches of canvas. Or canvas board. It can be canvas or canvas board. So I put this down to secure. I put the little thing down right here to secure so I can't move it up and down. It won't go up and down unless I, you know, lift it up. And I can move it up and down. So I'm going to put it back down. Spread these apart. Okay, and like I said, these little canvas tray holder. I'm gonna put it about right here. Cause I'm gonna put the book. I'm gonna try to fit the big canvas, my big canvas board up here, right here, on this little thing. 
No clue, it's the canvas tray. And I'm not putting it on the first one. That's the, like, the further you go down, that's obvious. The, the things, um, the, the further you go down, so, well, you get it, you get it. But anyway, so I'm gonna put the canvas tray on here. Try to put it on straight. Okay, it's on. It's not really sturdy. It's not sturdy. Like down further up is sturdy because I can put the little the little thing, the canvas middle part, canvas support can go down this little hole right here. So it's not really sturdy. That's fine. So let's see if we can fit this. Do I have it down? Nope, I don't have it down, so Easy fix. All you got to do is move these things down. It's the canvas tray holder. Move it down just a little. Then here we go. Right here. See if that would now. See if it would fit now. No, it's too. <laughs> it's too um. Too low. But I can fix it. move this thing up like I said I can move this thing up and down so just move it down just a little to fit the canvas and then I put this thing down and there it looks it fits it fits and it won't move it won't move isn't that awesome I think that's awesome so, so it's just like that. You can just sit and draw people on the floor or on the grass, whatever. But this is a big size Com compared to what I was painting yesterday, which is this. Y'all remember? See how big it is compared to this? Well, y'all, y'all can see. But anyway. To hold up to 33 inches, it's pretty awesome. So, what else? Um, it can't bend forward. It can just, it can't bend forward or back. You know, lean back and forward like any other easel would. It's just simple, simple use. What else about this? Um, if you want to, I guess, if you want to fix the screws, I guess I don't know how it is in the box, but hold on, let me take it off. It won't come off. There we go. So if you want to fix the screw things, all you need is a screwdriver. Where's my screwdriver going? There it goes. If you want to fix the little screws here, right here, to make them longer, or I mean, they come out, so you can unscrew it just like this, or screw it back. This one's kind of crooked. That's why it was hard for me to take it off, take the the tray thing out. I think I messed it up. So there we have it. That's how you put together this easel. I'm sure there's instructions in a box, but I didn't have instructions, so I figured it out. I'm gonna go ahead and reset this up, set this up, so you guys can watch. <laughs>